before you look up at the solar eclipse next week, ophthalmologists are warning people to protect their eyes. Solar burn is a real condition that eye doctors say they see in patients after an astronomical event. CBS 8's Abby Black shares how you can safely see the eclipse so you won't have to see a doctor. No. You don't want to be so engrossed that when you're looking up at the eclipse that you forget to look down and see your kid is not interested in wearing the solar glasses or looking through the view box. This can be extremely dangerous for any eyes, especially for kids. No. Less than five days from the solar eclipse, and while San Diego is not in the path of totality, ophthalmologists say a partial viewing can still damage your eyes if you stare at the sun longer than a minute. Do not stare at the eclipse with your naked eye. Dr. Natalie Afshari, a professor of ophthalmology at UC San Diego Health, says that she's treated patients for solar retinopathy or solar burns. It's unfortunate because these are healthy, wonderful people who were just enjoying the moment. Dr. Afshari shows us with an eye model how solar retinopathy occurs. She describes the retina as like a film in a camera. When you stare at the sun, that light goes through the cornea, which is the lens of your eye, and that can become a cataract over time. That bright light will burn your retina. Now, now you won't feel pain or sizzle and it may take 12 hours to see any symptom, but if you do see a spot or your vision is hazy or blurry, you need to seek a medical attention. Doctors say there is no treatment and it could take three to six months to subside or you could suffer permanent damage or even blindness. Very short uh, period of time of looking at the sun could be reversible. But every cell is different and every person is different. And don't think your regular shades are going to protect you. Well, sunglasses only block the light, about 60% of light rays. But the American Astronomical Society suggests that you buy solar glasses from one of their recommended sites that meet international safety standards and avoid third-party retailers like eBay and Amazon Marketplace. Inspect your glasses and make sure that they have an ISO seal and certified with the number 12312-2. Since there are counterfeits out there, look at a bright light through the glasses. You should not see it at all or it is faint or it may look like the outline of a light bulb. You also have the choice of watching the eclipse through the view box or streaming it online. We do not want enjoying the eclipse for a couple minutes or a few minutes lead to having that permanent hazy and blurry vision in the center. Abby Black, CBS 8.